So I'm here with an uh, all-round great guy, showbiz star, but mainly comedian Al Porsche today. He's come into our offices to visit us, and we're so happy to have you. I'm delighted to have you. I love this set. Do you want it? Yeah, this is gorgeous. You can have a show here. It's a bit like somebody kind of went, oh, we'll just, we'll just leave Very it there. Hipster, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hipster. <laughs> How are you getting on? You're super busy, because why, Panto? Oh, Panto, yeah. Christmas is really big for me. you got to do the Olympia Theatre two shows a day for like two four weeks. Yeah, and I write it, and I play the Dame Polly. So this year, I'm the Fairy Godmother. So we won't see you in January. It'll be so skinny from stress. Two shows, <laughs> two shows a day is mental. Yeah, it is. It's mad. But it's great. You like, love it. Oh, yeah. From 9 to 90 comes to it, you know? And uh, it's loads of great stars in it. Like, I'm really looking forward to it. Our Prince Charming yeah. is Carl Bow, who used to be Mr. Ireland. Oh. He is so good looking. Okay, yeah. Yeah, great. Eric Lawler from Fair City yes, is in it. You know, talented. he didn't have Casey in the end. <laughs> I actually Didn't. was convinced he had Casey. Anyway, uh, Ryan Andrews from Fair City. Now Ryan, Ryan had played Sean. Right. Basically, he just like stands around and like looks centra hot. and looks hot. <laughs> yeah, and he's, he's a great actor. That's though. what I do when I'm the makeup on. Oh, you look fantastic. <laughs> and who else is it? Dustin the Turkey. Oh yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah, yeah brilliant. So Excellent. I'm very excited. I'm being directed by Simon Delaney. So oh, it's really, so really good. funny. Yeah. So you do all of that. You take time off for Christmas Day. You hang out with your mum. What are your plans usually at Christmas? Oh yeah, no. So Christmas Eve, I go to the pub. So I get Christmas Eve and day off. But don't so tell Christmas us what pub because everyone behind you. <laughs> but a but local you go pub. local pub. You sing songs. You feel like you're on a ship uh, because it's all swaying with like it's uh, so many people and so much fun. And then Christmas Day, it's the only time I get to be like with my family and all that. Out, so. so that's just lots of prosecco and my dad's dinner because my mom like uses the fire alarm as a timer and like everybody has like their own traditions like my dad gets drunk and like tries to put me on top of the tree oh, and nice. i'm like is it because i'm a star he's like it's because you're a fairy and like we so have a good laugh so irish christmas yeah arguments you have to have a huge argument and Who'd then you fight with most your sisters or brothers <laughs> probably my sister because okay. when i was a kid i used to go down before everybody else and they hated this because you had to go down as a family yeah but i would go down and like steal my sister's presence nice and just because I wanted her dolls way more than I wanted my action man. <laughs> and then they come down and because like my parents would be like, are you sure that's what Santa wanted? And I'm like, no, that's exactly what Santa wanted me to have. Yeah. yeah he wanted me to have a doll. <laughs> You have had a massive year. You've had a massive few years. You've just revealed to me that you're only in your early 20s, which, which shocks me. You've just been in this business for so long. What are the plans for next year? You want to get even bigger? Or are you kind of just happy uh, trotting along? Well, I love, no, I'm never happy trotting along. Okay. Really ambitious, and I like to do bigger, 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 you know? Okay. So I had a huge tour this year. We sold over 40,000 tickets, but I want to do at least double that next year. Wow. Uh, more stuff in the UK. I've recorded a okay. few BBC panel shows. They're in the can, and you, I'm not going to talk about them, you know, all that Louis Walsh thing but they'll be coming out <laughs> next year and uh, some of them are really big shows I'm going to work with BBC Radio 4 wow. and I'm not doing Dancing with the Stars Aww. I'm actually no I'm taking time off I'd like to see you doing the chat show with I would have loved to do it you know I would love to do the Bruno Tagnoli it's him. fantastic it's him. magnificent um, but no I'm not going to do that okay. I'm going to Dubai I'm going to New York I'm oh, taking wow. a month off and then I come home and uh, I live I'm living in London though in March, April and May so if you're looking for me I'm in London and then I'm back home like all the Irish celebrities Go over what, to a London to work. what a star! What a star! If Ryan was to leg it, would you like his slot uh, on a chat show? Would you love that? The, the most? only time I'd ever do the Late Late Show is if Ryan had a really bad cold and he couldn't come in on a Friday. But otherwise, I wouldn't take it from him. He's the best host the Late Late Show has had in years. Al, you're an absolute charmer. Happy Christmas! Happy and thanks Christmas. for coming into a vote. No, thank you. Bye, guys. <laughs>